Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Rig. Here is the last box LEGO Technic set to review from the January 2024 wave. This is the 42164 off-road race buggy. You can see the buggy in action on the front, nothing special so far. Here's another view on the back of the box and below are a few details about the features. Let's open it and see what's inside. The set has 219 pieces, it is rated 8 plus, which is interesting because that means we can expect a slightly more complicated build than the McLaren Xtreme E race car. The price is 16 euros or 20 dollars. You can see the local prices by clicking on the link at the top right corner or in the description. We get four numbered bags, surprisingly two separate tin manuals, the sticker sheet and four tires. The tiny manuals have nothing special about them. At the end we get exactly the same picture as on the back of the box. Here is the parts list, now let's start building. We begin with the rear axle and the crankshaft. Make sure you check the gears and connections, everything must turn smoothly. Yes, you guessed it right, there is no differential at the back, only one wheel drives the engine, the other rolls freely. This isn't the first small scale Technic set to feature this compromise. On the other hand, it is quite unusual to see a minifigure neck bracket in a small Technic set. Here it appears to be used to hold the small V8 engine in place. It's probably not the sturdiest solution, but apparently the engine works, we will see if there are other parts to make it more stable. Here comes the suspension with the shock absorber and the pretty cool geometry. Need to align the pieces like this and secure them with that L-shaped half beam. Time to join the two assemblies. And as you see, this is a pretty dense build. The designer spent some time for sure to fit everything here. The engine works smoothly. It is still a bit wobbly, but I think this is part of the buggy experience. We need to use those two holes we aligned previously to fit this cross axle in and as you see the whole rear section will be suspended, might be necessary for the steering. This beam in vibrant yellow only appeared in the app control transformation vehicle previously. Had to apply the first stickers, this is the rear wing. It goes here and we are at the end of phase 1. In phase 2 comes the front assembly, then the front axle, which will be steerable somehow. So this cross axle has to be pushed through and then we can already see how the steering will work. If I try to hold the front axle with my hand, you can see how the tilting of the upper part turns the front wheels to the left and right. It's a pretty compact and clever solution. Here are the headlights. The use of the white half pins definitely adds to the look. This is another example of the tight design with various different angles combined. A few more bright yellow panels have been added and now comes the assembly of the two main sections. It's a small vehicle, but it still fits two of the classic blue Technic seats. We are almost done, here's a tricky connection that obviously only works if you have the parts in the right position. Here are the doors, they can be turned, then comes the rear larger wheel with a black rim, and finally the front wheels with a narrower rim and tire combination, and this is the first appearance of this rim in blue. And our buggy is finished. Here is the end result, I think it looks great, the blue and vibrant yellow accents fit well. After the app control transformation vehicle and the Airbus helicopter, this is already the third set with Technic elements in this color. The 42124 off-road buggy has many similarities and not just in the name. The main colors are different, but both have the eye-catching look and both are off-road buggies. However, the smaller buggy has less capable wheels for this purpose, but I'm sure it will mainly be driven indoors, probably on a table. The suspension sort of works, but it's mainly there for the show and to have a more sophisticated building experience. The tiny V4 runs quite well, it's fun to watch the little pistons. The tail steering is the highlight of the set and it totally works, you need a little bit of practice to get back to straight after a tight turn. Thanks to this design, we also have a kind of pendular suspension at the rear, which works independently of the front axle or the steering. The disadvantage of the steering setup is noticeable on uneven ground, you have to compensate for the bumps, otherwise the buggy will turn by itself. So, how does it compare with the McLaren Xtreme E race car? The wheelbase is exactly the same, the width is similar, that one has a bit more parts and a pullback motor, this one has suspension and steering and a lower price. I definitely prefer the buggy. The building experience and the working functions are more interesting, although I think the pullback car might be more fun for kids from a playability perspective. All in all, this is a highly recommended small scale Technic set, it has lots of great building techniques and is fun to build, you definitely don't want to miss it. 
Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as more exciting LEGO videos are coming soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.